So you need a new family cruiser, but you do a lot of traveling and you need to know what sort of realistic MPG figures you can expect. Then this video is for you. Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the real world highway fuel economy test of the 2022 Kia Carnival. <laughs> We're gonna head out on the highway and do 50 miles out and 50 miles back, averaging 70 miles per hour to get you a realistic highway fuel economy number for this new minivan. And before we get started, let's hop out, take a quick look at it. This thing is sweet. Striking looks, almost looks like a big SUV from the outside, but it's full van on the inside. Look at those cool LED headlights. Unique styling, new Kia badge, blacked out wheels. This thing in this top trim, SX Prestige, is looking nice, looking cool, and it's got a lot of neat stuff inside as well. So if you want to see more on the Carnival, check the links in the description. We've got a full review, we've got a joke comparison with our town and country, and a sound system test of this Bose 12-speaker audio system. Now why do we do this test? Well, the EPA's Highway Fuel Economy test, which gives this Carnival 26 miles per gallon, that test only averages 48 miles per hour. We know there are people who take their vehicles on long road trips and would like to know what sort of numbers they can realistically expect in the real world. So in order to do that, we're heading on over to the gas station here. We're gonna fill up, head out and do 100 miles on the highway and come back, fill up at the same pump using the same three-click fueling method and get a result. Now, if you don't care to watch through any of this, I'll do you a favor and I'll post a chapter to the result near the end of the video, but all I ask is that you at least hit that like and subscribe button help us out and support us there. And if you really care, watch the whole video, give us that watch time, help give us a little bit of revenue. But I know not all of you wanna sit through this, so you can go ahead and click through. We just ask that you like and subscribe. A few things to note for today, outside temperature is 67 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see it is a little bit rainy, so hopefully we don't run into any standing water on the road. Tire pressures have been set to their door placard, 36 PSI cold. And we're gonna have the climate control set at 73 degrees auto. Now, yes, this might run the air conditioning, but that's just how people run their cars in the real world, and we gotta be comfortable in here. All right, let's get out and fill it up. 10.090 gallons going in for our initial fill. Before we actually start the engine, I'm gonna turn the car on so we can reset our trip computer and our GPS. A few different drive modes in the Carnival. We've got normal, eco, sport, and smart. We're gonna do this test in eco. And we're ready to begin. I'm gonna take it nice and easy over to the highway. It's about half a mile away. Pick up the test from there. It's a good opportunity to let you know about the daily motor membership options. If you wanna see more than just the standard sound system tests and uh, fuel economy reviews, everything we typically do with the cars, consider becoming a daily motor member for just $3 a month. You can see behind the scenes footage, custom sound tests where we actually make sound system reviews with user suggested songs. A lot of fun stuff we post up for the members and it helps us out a bunch, especially when paying for gas for big thirsty minivans like this. So if you're interested, hit the link down below or on most devices, you can just hit the join button, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. The goal of this test isn't to hyper mile, but rather to drive nice and smooth as one might on a highway road trip. So in order to do that, we're getting going on the highway here and we're gonna set our cruise control to a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour. Unfortunately, I don't have my usual phone GPS mount, but I can see it down here. See that we're getting up to 72. Get our digital speedo brought back up. It looks like the car speedometer is actually quite accurate. 72 on the dash is giving us 72 on the GPS. Are running into a little bit of rain. Hopefully that doesn't keep up too bad. Initial highway impressions. It's moderately quiet for a minivan. It's a little bit tougher to make these giant boxes quiet, but this does a pretty decent job. It'll be interesting to see how the seat comfort holds up, but I like the feel of the steering wheel. And Kia does have a very good active lane keeping system, so that should help make the drive a breeze. All right, we're gonna continue on with the rest of the test and catch up with you at the end. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of the entire trip.
coming into the end of the highway fuel economy test here in the Kia Carnival. Some of you keen-eyed observers may notice that it is significantly later in the day. That is because we went out on our first test and traffic was entirely stopped about 30 miles, 20 miles or so into the route. So we had to uh, pack it in and do it again later. So we went out and followed all the same protocols, but you'll notice we're gonna go back to a different pump because we started this run at a different pump. Other than that, very smooth run here, doing it in the evening. Not exactly when I like to be working, but I will admit, it makes for some clean highway fuel economy runs. According to the car's trip computer, we are at 30 miles per gallon flat. So quite a bit above EPA according to the trip computer, but we'll see what we get once we fill it back up at the pump. Highway comfort's been good. This is a plenty comfortable place to be. Got good arm padding. The active lane keeping system works ex excellently, including the adaptive cruise control. Been cruising along, listening to the Bose audio system, which has been great. Check the link in the description if you want to see more on that one. Perfectly comfortable place to be. So if you want to eat away miles at your carnival, it looks like you may be able to do so at a little bit above the EPA's highway fuel economy number. So we'll take it back over to the gas pump, fill up and get a result. 3.896 gallons going in. 108.5 divided by 3.896 is giving us 27.8 miles per gallon. So rounding up to 28, striking a nice middle ground there between the car is 30 and EPA is 26. 28 miles per gallon times the 19 gallon fuel tank is giving you an effective highway cruising range of 530 miles here in the Kia Carnival. Well, 28 miles per gallon for a vehicle this large and capable, that's really not quite so bad. That's really not all that much lower than the Sienna hybrid minivan that we tested, although that one does come with all wheel drive. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the Kia Carnival, check the links in the description for our Bose sound system test, our full review, and our comparison with our Chrysler Town & Country. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.